it, it is my belief, and I just want to get your perspective on this, that the minute Justin Fields is ready to be a starting quarterback in the NFL, and these coaches would know that far better than I would, that of course he should be their starting quarterback. He is now the future of their franchise. But if he's not ready to play, which means he's not ready to start, then there's no earthly reason, in my opinion, why he should be the backup. He shouldn't go run out there to play. He doesn't suddenly get ready because Andy Dalton sprains an ankle in the second quarter of week one. Nick Foles is on the roster. So in my opinion, this Sunday, the Bears quarterbacks should be Andy Dalton one and Nick Foles two if they're telling us Justin Fields is not ready to play. Jeff Saturday, what do you think? I 100% agree with you, Greeny. 100% agree with you. <laughs> Listen, we all know, we all know that Justin Fields should be the starter. Mm -hmm. So don't ask me about when he's ready. He is ready. He's been ready. He should be the guy. I don't know whatever's going on in Chicago, for whatever reason, Andy Dalton's going to be the starter. But I can tell you this. Justin Fields ain't getting no better on the scout team. He's not going to know anything about what, what the defensive schemes are going to be that he's going to be facing. So don't put him in there to get bludgeoned if your one goes out because he got smacked around. Go ahead and put, put Foles in there and let it go ride with him, man. And then in four weeks or five weeks, when the whole, when the whole Bears fans and their front office decides it's Justin Fields' time, let him roll in. <laughs> but ain't got no business throwing him in there once if – if Dalton gets knocked out, no reason to put in it. Because, by the way, he's already ready. So, so I don't even know what we're talking about. When he gets ready, he yeah. is ready. I don't, I don't even know why we're discussing it, but for whatever reason, that's where it is. I agree with you. Sit him out and protect him now mm. until you think you, 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 he can protect himself. Marcus, if you can hear me over there, what is your reaction? I just don't understand <laughs> the, the logic behind it because, like, I, I know Jeff Saturday, and I know Jeff Saturday feels how I feel about um, – Justin Fields starting, but but here's my problem, yes. G, and and I'm really trying to wrap my head around Nick Foles coming in. So so are like the Bears, the Bears are just like canceling the season then. Like that's that's the assumption that you and Greeny are under. Like if 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 Andy Dalton don't work out and Matt Nagy didn't get in, getting didn't get Justin Fields ready to play, and you go to Nick Foles, so so y'all think the Chicago Bears. So should just save face the entire season because the young rookie quarterback, get him ready. I, I don't understand how many times I got to say this. He should be ready. But if, if, if Andy Dalton he sucks ready. and you got the better option because you, you said and y'all tweeted out Andy Dalton is QB1, then you want to stick with that. I think this is a part of stubbornness. That's why I can't get on board with y'all saying Nick Foles should come in. Matt Nagy yeah. knows that Justin I'm Fields petty. is the better option. I'm petty. Matt Nagy understands what this football team around him watched transpire in the preseason. But – if they put Nick Foles in this game, and it's what you alluded to earlier, Jeff, when we talked about this a couple weeks ago, you're going to lose some dudes on this football team. I hope they understand that if, oh, they, yeah. want, if they want Greeny to be the damn head coach. <laughs> I hope they understand that if you, if Andy Dalton doesn't play well and they put in Nick Foles, a lot of players on that Chicago Bears team is going to say, man, this, he ain't trying to win. Well, this dude ain't trying to win. If that's true, then they're getting this wrong from the jump, which is to say... Well, we in agreement on that, I'm Jake. Making, the only assumption I'm making is that Justin Fields isn't playing because the coaches have decided he's not ready to. That's the only logical reason to me why he wouldn't be playing in the first place. And if he's not ready to play, then he shouldn't play. Now, Jeff Darlington, there's a whole other piece to this. What is that? Yeah, I just... I just feel like my family's being ripped apart right now because of, <laughs> of misinformation and a lack of context to the situation. <laughs> I feel like I need to bring you guys together. If Please, this yeah. doesn't make sense, maybe it's because it doesn't make sense. Maybe it's because the Bears feel like yeah. they have to start Andy Dalton because of something they told Andy Dalton when they signed the guy. I'm not saying it's in his contract that he has to start week one, but I am saying it is peculiar that Andy Dalton had interest from other teams out there, and then suddenly he signs with the Bears – and now all of a sudden he's QB1 on social media and he's making these proclamations that it's my time now. Maybe he knows something the rest of us don't. And that's when he signed. Maybe he knew that he was going to get a chance as a starter. It's the only thing that makes sense, guys. 
Not what you're saying. That doesn't make sense. And Only you know what makes sense here is that Andy Dalton told he was a starter. You know what? It does make sense, Jeff, and it brings my mind to something else. Yeah. It's similar to when Sean Payton wanted to give Taysom Hill his opportunity mm -hmm. to see. And when we start talking about this quarterback situation in New Orleans, I said Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill are not in the same stratosphere mm -hmm. when it comes to playing quarterback. Right. So with this decision, like yep. that's why, G, that's why this is such a touchy, touchy subject for me. Yes. Because I'm I'm born and bred in the NFL that when you have a preseason you and hurry. you have preseason games and one player looks that much better than the other one, that's the guy that should play. So yes. maybe I'm living in an alternate universe. Let's see what they do. Many promises have been broken in NFL history, but maybe this is one they're going to keep. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.